Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about how to do one sample heat test in Jamovi. Right, so let's begin. First, what is one sample t test and when do we use it? So one sample t test is a parametric statistical tool that allows us to learn whether a sample differs from the population from which it was drawn, when the population standard deviation is not known. In other words, one sample t test allows us to make comparisons between um, a certain sample, between samples and populations. So just like other types of t-tests, for example, independent samples t-tests, one sample t-test also allows us to make comparisons. Whereas in independent samples t-tests, we compare two samples, which, is draw, which are drawn from two separate populations. In one sample t-test, we are not comparing two samples, but instead we're comparing the sample with the population. In other words, we're comparing a smaller group with the bigger group from which it was drawn from. For example, you, you and your friends can be the sample, while the entire batch in a school can be the population. And we would like to know whether your group, your circle of friends, significantly differ from the entire batch. Okay, so here's the formula for one sample t-test. Um, when you do hand computation to get the t that is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean over the standard error of the mean, whereas the standard error of the mean is obtained by getting the square root of the variance over the sample size. But for today, we're not going to focus on the hand computation. Instead, I'm going to teach you how to do this in Jamovi. So I, I adopted this problem from the textbook of Andrew Christopher. So on average, the dogs in a local animal rescue organization get adopted after 22 days. So that is the population mean. Some dogs get adopted in less than 22 days while some take more than 22 days. The black dog syndrome refers to the tendency for black dogs to get passed over for adoption in favor of the non-black dogs. Determine if there is a significant difference in the number of days it takes for black dogs to be adopted so we want to know, does the number of days it takes for black dogs to get adopted significantly differ from the mean number of days for all dogs to get adopted, which is 22? Okay, so first and foremost, let me state the hypothesis. So for our null hypothesis, there is no significant difference between the mean of black dogs and the mean of all dogs. And for the alternative hypothesis, there is significant difference between the mean of black dogs and the mean of all dogs, okay? And the alpha level that I have chosen is 0 0.05, and we're going to run a two-tailed test since our hypotheses are also in two-tailed. So to determine the critical region, you need to know the, or the critical value, you need to know the alpha level and the degrees of freedom. So in this case, we have eight dogs and to get the degrees of freedom in one in one sample t-test, that is n minus 1. So in this case, 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. And since our alpha level is 0 0.05, our critical value is 2.365. So we will compare the value of the t that we will get later with this value to know if there is a significant difference between black dogs and all dogs. Okay. So now let me show you the computation in Jamovi. So here we have the value or the number of days it takes for the eight black dogs in the organization to get adopted. Okay. And to run a one sample t-test, we have to click on t-test. We have to click on one sample t-test. And then we will drag number of days to the right under dependent variable, okay? And then remember that we are comparing black dogs with all dogs and the mean of the population is 22. So that is very important because here on the left side, you have to put here the value of the population mean, which is 22, okay? And here under hypothesis, you can, you can select whether you are, you can specify whether you are testing a two-tailed hypothesis or a one-tailed hypothesis. So in this case, we're testing a two-tailed hypothesis, so I selected the first one. But if you hypothesize that the value of the mean 
uh, I mean the value, the mean value of the sample will be greater than 22, then you can select the second one. But if, but if you predicted that the value of the sample mean will be lesser than 22, then you can select the third one. In this case, let me just select the first one since we are testing a two-tailed hypothesis. Okay. And then let me also check on descriptives for me to know the mean value of the sample. Okay. So now we have here on the right the results of the one sample t test. We can see here that the statistic is 1.19. And later on, we will compare this with the critical value that we obtained. But as early as now, we can tell that there is no significant difference between black dogs and all dogs since the p-value, which we can see here, is greater than 0 0.05. Since this is bigger than 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. But if you get a value that is lesser, smaller than 0 0.05, that's the time that you will reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So the value that we obtained is um, using manual computation is 1.18. Using Jamovi is 1.19, so it's not that far from one another. In a way, it's okay, just a difference of 0 0.01. And the critical value that we got earlier is. 2.365. Um, and we will compare the p-value from the computation okay, with the critical value. And we can see here, obviously, that the t-value, the computed t, the t-statistic, is lower compared to the critical value. Therefore, our decision is we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, in conclusion, the number of days it takes for black dogs to get adopted which has a mean of 29 and a standard deviation of 16.71, does not significantly differ from that of other types of dogs. That's it, everyone, for one sample t-test and how to do it using Jamovi. Hope you learned something and see you next time.